people think that the primary thing they should look at when they borrow money is an interest rate, but an interest rate is often a distraction. How many of you have ever gotten an invitation in your mortgage to refinance your house? And you can get a lower payment and a lower interest rate. Ask yourself the question, why are they giving you a lower payment and a lower interest rate? Here's why. They understand the game. If you don't understand the money game, then you have to work on the board as one of the pieces for the people who understand how to play the game. And the banks understand how to play the game. So they'll send you a letter saying, we're going to give you a lower interest rate and you'll have a lower monthly payment on your mortgage. But the reason they're going to do that is because if you do that, you got, say, 13 years left on your mortgage. Now you have to start a whole new 30-year mortgage. In the first 10 years of your mortgage, most of the money you pay goes to interest. So even though you're paying lower a lower interest rate and get a lower payment, paying more in interest than if you had kept the higher interest rate with a higher payment. They know you don't know that. They don't tell you that part of it. It's in the paperwork because they know they've already distracted you by making you think the interest rate is the most important thing. Let's say you understand the money game. What would be better would be to get a home equity line of credit for the equity that you have and put that home equity line of credit in the first position if you can. Make your mortgage a home equity line of credit. And then every time you get paid, deposit your check into your mortgage balance and then use the checkbook that comes with your home equity line of credit to pay your bills. You'll pay off your mortgage probably in three to seven years.